Hi, I'm Ariel. Hi, I'm Angie. Um, and we've been using this composting toilet in our RV for about a year. Um, so we wanted to do a little review about it and tell you what we think. <laughs> so we went with the Airhead composting toilet. Um, there are a few commercial composting toilets available on the market. Um, and also you could pretty easily make your own. Um, the main reason we chose the Airhead is because of the size of it. Um, I believe at least when we were searching composting toilets, it was a little bit smaller than some of the other toilets on the market. Um, also, it has a little bit more of kind of the residential toilet seat feel, um, which we thought was a, a good way to go. Um, you know, the Airhead is a little bit pricey for essentially a bucket. Um, you can make your own composting toilet pretty easily. Uh, there are some videos out there on how to um, set up urine diverters and stuff. Um, the main reason we chose not to go that direction is because we are in a motorhome. We do go down a lot of dirt roads and stuff. It gets bumpy. Um, I was personally worried about our ability to create a sturdy enough toilet that we weren't going to have issues with the bucket falling over or the, the urine, uh, you know, bucket falling over, the diverter falling over. So, um, so yeah, that's basically why we went with the airhead. Um, also it does have that, uh, 12 volt fan in it that kind of helps dry out the material. Um, and that could, you could totally put one of those in a homemade toilet, um, but we like that it came all in one. So, ta-da! So um, our particular composting toilet actually is just a really fancy bucket, <laughs> um, but it, it is a uh, solid and liquid separator. So that means that the liquids go into this container in the front and the solids go into the container in the back. Um, and the solids do need to go into a medium. And what we use is coca core. And so this right here is coca core in its brick form, uh, which is very compact. And we can put like a six month supply into the, in the bathroom. All you gotta do is add water to this and it will expand. And we'll show you that in a minute. All right. And now it is deep dive into the poo tank time. Um, this is a clean uh, poo bucket, so there's no poo in here um, for your benefit. Um, but I just wanted to show the cocoa core. Um, so it comes compressed in these bricks here. Um, you know, generally I put uh, some amount of water, it's a few cups, I don't remember exactly, um, into a bucket with these bricks and let it sit for a few days. Um, and then you can kind of break it up. Um, the wetter it is, the easier it is um, to break up. Though I have learned um, with uh, messing around with the toilet, we have a little friend here, hey there. Um, I have learned that the drier the cocoa core is, the better. So often I'll let it sit in the bucket, break it up, and then actually let it sit um, for a few days and kind of dry out before we put it back in the toilet. Um, that seems to help it last a little longer. So now let's talk about how we clean the toilet. Uh, Ariel and I kind of have our own jobs when it comes to the composting toilet. My job is to dump the pee, um, which uh, I do every single day. We could probably go a day and a half, maybe two days, uh, but just to be on the safe side so I don't have to worry about it, I just do it at the same time every day. Um, normally I will dump it into like say right now we're in a campground so I will go to the bathroom and I will dump it in there. If we are dispersed camping and there isn't a bathroom or a you know an outhouse then I do try and dump it in a discreet location that is not next to any foot traffic and something that is far away from uh, natural water sources like the lake behind us. So Angie deals with the pee and I deal with the poo. Um, you know, it's it's not actually that difficult or disgusting to uh, clean or empty a composting toilet. Um, you know, if you don't like uh, getting intimate with your waste products, though, you might not enjoy having a composting toilet. Uh, but if you live in an RV, no matter what, you do have to dump your tanks. Uh, you know, most RV folks are somewhat familiar with, with getting up close and personal with uh, waste products, so um, the composting toilet is really not all that different. Um, 
I generally empty the toilet every two to three weeks. Um, it, that can vary a little bit depending on the weather. Um, if we're in a drier place, we're often able to go a little bit longer. Um, right now we're in coastal Alaska um, and it's pretty damp here, it's fall time. Um, so we might have to uh, empty it a little bit more frequently. It's pretty easy to uh, empty the composting toilet. Basically, you just uh, pop this top off here. Um, and then you have, uh, as Angie said earlier, it's a glorified bucket. It is essentially a bucket. Um, so I will just dump uh, this entire bucket into a trash bag, um, throw that away. So next we want to talk about the installation of the composting toilet. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and simple. Once you cap off the old uh, pipe to the black tank and uh, build a platform or a base for the toilet to sit on and to be screwed to, the biggest thing that we, we had to do was drill a hole for the low draw 12 volt fan that actually keeps air circulating in the uh, solid portion of the composting toilet. The reason why we're here <laughs> in the back of the RV is because our, um, uh, our fan is actually right underneath here. And the reason why we put it back here is because, you know, it does have a little bit of an odor, especially if we're getting close to the time that we need to actually clean out the toilet, you will smell it a little bit. So we want to make sure that, you know, that fan is not located like right by the front door or next to a place that we're actually going to be hanging out. So keep that in mind. And welcome to the bathroom. Um, so one of the main differences uh, functionally between a composting toilet and a standard toilet is that you can only pee or poop. Uh, you can't do them both at the same time. Um, so that does take a little bit of practice and could potentially be a drawback of the composting toilet. Um, however, uh, just to go over how you use it, um, you know, when you pee, you you pee normally into the toilet. Um, instead of flushing it, we have a little uh, spray bottle of vinegar here. We just do a few little sprays of vinegar. Um, that really helps keep down any potential urine smell, um, clears out uh, the bowl here. Um, we did find that if we didn't use the vinegar, sometimes it can get a little bit uriny stinky. So the vinegar really helps with that. Um, when you're ready to do uh, your poops, <laughs> um, you know, you're hanging out on the toilet, you open this little trap door, um, you do your business, close the trap door, and then there's a little handle down here that you just crank and that uh, mixes the poop with the compost medium. Um, we do not put toilet paper into the composting toilet. You can, paper is compostable and um, will do fine inside of the, um, the bucket. However, we found that if we put toilet paper in there, we had to clean uh, the, the, we had to clean out the composting toilet more often. Um, so instead of putting toilet paper um, inside of the toilet, we actually have this little um, trash can over here. So we just put all of our toilet paper in that once we use it. And that's about it for the composting toilet magic. All right, so some pros and cons of the composting toilet. Um, we already talked about some of the cons, but again, you know, it can be a little uh, cumbersome to empty the pee jug every day or two. Um, you know, you do have to get a little bit more up close and personal with your waste products uh, to empty the, the poo bucket as well. Um, sometimes the pee bucket can be a little difficult to clean. You can certainly rinse it out, though it does get a little bit of a buildup um, that is more difficult to remove. Um, with this particular toilet model, we have had some issues with staining. Um, the, the white plastic seems to kind of pick up dirt or stain a little bit easily. Um, more easily, there's white plastic here in, inside the toilet. Um, and then, so those are pretty small cons, I think. Um, you know, there is some odor, generally not inside the RV, um, yeah. unless it really, really needs to be changed. Um, but like Angie said earlier, um, that, that 12 volt fan that is working on drying out the medium inside the poo bucket, um, there can be a little bit of an odor 
the the rear <laughs> the rear but of most, the RV. But most of the time, if everything is nice and dry, it just really kind of just smells like soil, mm -hmm. you know, and just like dirt. Yeah. So so I think that's about it for the cons of the composting toilet. But even with like those cons, which would come with a lot of uh, different composting toilet models, the biggest pros really is the the water. Uh, consumption and the water that we save by using this toilet and the fact that we don't have to dump our tanks as, as, as often, which really just means we can, uh, you know, we can boondock, we can dry camp much longer, uh, which is a huge pro and a huge um, benefit and the main reason why we got this toilet in the first place. So drum roll. <laughs> Ariel, are we happy with our purchase? Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> I I would highly, highly recommend um, any RVer who likes yeah. to boondock and you know doesn't want to doesn't typically stay at places where there are hookups to get a composting toilet if you can. Um, also, after living with this toilet for a year, I have decided that California, Nevada, and all the places that they're having big water consumption issues, we need to figure out a way to institute um, you know, mass composting toilet usage, toilet usage. That's another video, <laughs> but yeah, I that's think for another day. <laughs> I think the composting toilet is great. It's it's pretty much like a regular toilet. Um, it's easy to use, and it it really saves us a lot of water. Yeah. So. So. Thanks for watching. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bum 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 b